Uh, Fat, I'll start with you. Uh, Dusty said that he wouldn't be surprised if you would have be able to play defensive back next door if you ever wanted to. Do uh, you have any football experience? Uh, yeah, I played when I was younger. Uh, I, didn't, I played middle linebacker and uh, quarterback, though. I don't know about defensive back. It seemed like a little, like a little hard. But I, get, I played I, football when I was younger. So I, I assume it means because, you know, defensively your hands are always in there. So where does that kind of defensive philosophy come from for you? I don't know. I guess it's just kind of instinct, I guess. And then my dad, growing up, when we did practices and stuff you know, with like my AAU team, we uh, did practice where we wouldn't even touch a basketball. It'd be all like running, all hands out, and all defensive stuff. So um, I think him, and also him preaching to me that defense is how you get on the floor. So uh, I kind of always just took pride in trying to be the best defender at all times. And I guess this this would be for both of you guys. I mean. Um, you were committed already, Justin. Dusty had to kind of commit you, but what was that pitch like from him when you guys were deciding on whether or not for you sticking here and then deciding to come here? I think him just being a winner. You know, obviously, class didn't have the greatest year. So I think um, him being from a winning culture, bringing a team that really nobody expects to go to the final four, all the way to the final four. And, uh, and just being such like a family guy, it seemed like he was really loyal. Uh, he really cared about his players. He really just wanted the best for them. For me, uh, I kind of knew Coach Ray's resume as soon as he called my phone. As well as Michigan, it's a really big school. So, so, you know, um, that was kind of the pitch. He was very uh, straight up with me, told me he was going to bring in other people. So, so you know, I was ready to work. Um, I knew the past of Michigan and his history, so you know, I felt like it was really good for my development. So. And then, uh, Dusty's talked about how, obviously, this year you guys have a ton of transfers, but he wants the foundation of this program to be high school recruits. And, and guys, so for you guys, I mean, do you feel like you have a chance to be kind of the foundation of this? And, and how do you how do you deal with those sort of expectations? Um, yeah, you know, they kind of told me that as well when I was coming in. We were like the, the draft pick and stuff. So, you know, just starting the Michigan culture back up. We were both the coaches. We were all the coaches and stuff. Um, you know, we don't really know how many years they're going to be here. But, you know, just transferring it out to the next people. Yeah, that's what he said. Obviously, this year we had a lot of transfers. So, um, they're like, you know, trying to teach us this year. But, uh, yeah, I think we can really set the foundations, especially being around a lot of older guys, a lot of transfers that have been in college. And uh, even Roger, him being in the Big Ten, and Will, Big Ten, Amari, all of them. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be a great teaching year. Uh, hopefully we get, some, get to see some time on the floor, get to really experience it. But I think for the future years to come, I think it'll really be, really be good for us and we can lay that foundation. Now. What's your guys' relationship like with uh, with LJ, and what's impressed you the most about him so far? Uh, we got a really good relationship. We're all roommates. We all live in the same building, so it's been really good. Uh, what's impressed you probably just, uh, you know, he works every day. You know, at first, like when he first came in there, he was kind of struggling, like conditioning wise. So he's kind of, he always fought through that. He always fought through that adversity. So they sort of go. So I feel like he's really like taking the step up. And he kept fighting through that. Uh, yeah, same thing. Uh, we all. Me, LJ, and Justin, we live in an apartment together, so uh, we, we got a great relationship. Uh, play the game together, we go eat together, we do basically everything together. But uh, what I'm most impressed with is uh, I've never seen a freshman be able to score the ball like him. So, uh, yeah, this going ability is crazy, whether it's off the dribble, catch and shoot, or whatever, finish at the rim, whatever. So, this going ability is the crazy thing I've seen. How do the three of you guys bond when you're not playing basketball? We'll go get dinner or whatever, and we'll play the game together, stuff like that. So sometimes we'll just all be in the kitchen, we'll just be talking about that. Awesome. How are you, how are you feeling injury-wise? Yeah, I was feeling a lot of discomfort, so uh, I've been out for the last couple weeks. But okay. You should be good to go for the season, yes, just, just be cautious. Yes, yeah. uh, the practices we saw today, are, are all the practices going like that, where it's like a lot of 5 on 5 play, a lot of, a lot of up and down, a lot of stuff like that? Yeah, most of our practices are kind of just not really a lot of drills. A couple of girls maybe in the of the Do you like that in terms of like being able to play a lot more as opposed to just individual work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. But, uh, coming from the other guy, they said a lot of the other teams in the country, like 99, 95% of the other teams, they do like three hour practices where and they be all drills. But that's the that they come in, hour and a half match, you mostly play because that's how you really get better is how you're playing together. So that's, yeah, that's way better. Good. You know, you need, you're really going to get your reps about playing. Yeah.
a lot of people. So, so. How, you, how do you guys feel like you're developing chemistry so far as you're working? You guys are combined tight together and stuff. It's a lot of new faces, but it looks like you guys are pretty close from what we saw out there. Oh, yeah, we all tight. Um, we kind of, uh, I think we kind of got our chemistry pretty early. Especially because Dusty, he doesn't really run a lot of sets. It's kind of like a free flow offense where it's just motion. So at the end of the day, we all hooper, so we all just kind of hooping together. So I think that chemistry came. You obviously were committed before Dusty came, and then reaffirmed it. What about you know? What about Dust? What, what about it? What about Dusty specifically? Like made you want to continue to stay in Michigan? Um, I think just him being such a winning coach. Obviously, last year we saw how Michigan planned or how they wanted it to go. So um. I think just him winning, uh, him caring about his players, uh, him wanting the best for us, and then also just him trying to set up his players to be set in life, not just with basketball, but like outside of it as well, but like different opportunities and stuff.